Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I trust everyone is doing well. Several updates, so I'll jump right in. First, our COVID status levels are going to be changing over the next week. First, Sauhegan is going to go from orange to yellow as of tomorrow, Thursday. Also tomorrow, the Mount Vernon Village School is going to go from yellow to green. The most significant impact of those changes is that masks will be optional at both of those schools. In addition, uh, effective Monday, January 31st, Amher Amherst Middle School and Wilkins will go from yellow to green, also making masks optional. I will confirm that change Sunday night, um, but expect that change to go in effect Monday. Clark School is going to remain yellow because not every student in that building has access to vaccinations. So while all of our metrics are going in the right direction, we'll continue to watch things as they change. Uh, be on the lookout for any updates as they come forward, but I hope that this is a step in the right direction for all of our schools. I encourage everyone to continue to wear a mask if you feel like that is appropriate for you and your family, but the choice about masks is moving uh, to parents. Uh, effective Thursday for Sohegan and Mount Vernon Village School and Monday for Clark, uh, I'm sorry, for Wilkins and for Amherst Middle School. Next, uh, we have a school start and end time survey uh, that's available for you now in PowerSchool. If you log into the parent portal, there's a survey under the forms section where you can give us feedback about the school start and end times that went into effect this year. So I'd encourage you to take that survey sometime over the next week. Next, filing dates for open school board positions remain open until this Friday at 5 p.m. So stop by the Brick School at 1 School Street in Amherst to sign up for any of the school board spots that are open until 5 p.m. A reminder, deliberative sessions will be happening in February. February 7th is the Sohegan deliberative session at seven o'clock at the high school. Uh, February 8th, which is a Tuesday, will be the Amherst deliberative session, seven o'clock at the high school. And Wednesday, February 9th, Mount Vernon Village School will have the Mount Vernon deliberative session, seven o'clock. Voting will take place March 8th, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. at Sohegan for Amherst voters, seven to seven at the Village School for Amherst voters. I'd like to give special uh, thanks to the Amherst Fire Rescue. Over the past couple of weeks, when we've been short on nursing staff, uh, Amherst Fire Rescue has provided some of their staff to, to be at, our, at Clark School to help cover the nurse's office when we've had an absence. So that's been great. We really appreciate the partnership between the town of Amherst and our schools. Uh, and I want to thank Chief Connolly and his staff for their partnership helping us out. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Uh, two other, a couple other quick updates about our schools. Uh, kindergarten registration for both the, the Village School and for Clark will start in February. That process will take place online and we encourage parents to sign up uh, uh, as early as possible so that we have a sense of how many students we have coming for our incoming kindergarten class, but look for an announcement about that soon. Also, progress reports will be sent home next week. More information will come from your child's school directly about that process, but look for progress reports. And finally, on a, on a high note, uh, Chloe Trudell has been named the Gatorade Cross Country Runner of the Year for New Hampshire. Uh, Chloe won the state championship for the second time this year as a D2 athlete and uh, is going to the University of Connecticut next year on a scholarship to run cross country. And we're very proud of Chloe uh, in this email that goes along with this video is an article about that as well. So congratulations to our senior, Chloe Trudell, for being the cross country runner of the year from Gatorade. With that, have a wonderful rest of the week. Please continue to reach out with any comments or questions, and I hope everyone has a great uh, rest of this week and into this weekend. Take care.